Hey everybody, it's Tony Cotaspati from GreatVocalMajority.com. Do you believe in miracles? Trump wasn't supposed to win the GOP nomination, but he did. Donald Trump, just last week, he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. Donald Trump wasn't supposed to win the presidential election, but he won. We are going to make this decision now. The Fox News decision desk has called Pennsylvania for Donald Trump. This means that Donald Trump will be the 45th president of the United States, winning the most unreal, surreal <laughs> election we have ever seen. This candidacy starting on an escalator ride one year ago and going down against 16 Republican candidates. The stock market was supposed to crash if he got elected, but it didn't. It went the other way. We are closely tracking Wall Street's reaction to Donald Trump winning the White House. Dow Jones futures tanked on election night going into Wednesday morning. But then the Dow closed up 250 points yesterday. And today, the Dow surged to a new record high at one point. And right now, it is currently up over 200 points. Some economists said the economy would collapse if he was elected. That went the other way, too. And the government released its gross domestic product report for the second quarter this morning. It showed the U.S. economy grew 4.1 percent from April through June. That's the best showing since 2014. Some said unemployment would go up if Donald Trump got elected. It didn't. Unemployment went down. Donald Trump's ideas about the economy and the world will cause millions of Americans to lose their jobs. Many people on the left said Donald Trump's policies were racist, but black and Latino unemployment went down and their incomes reached all-time highs. Greetings and salutations. I'm Christopher Platt, reporting for Your Black World News with an article from the Washington Examiner. The unemployment rate for black workers hit the lowest on record in April, according to the latest jobs figures released by the Bureau of Labor Statistics on Friday. The unemployment rate for black workers dropped to 6.6%, beating the previous record low of 6.8% set in December. The jobless rates for Hispanics fell to 4.8%, tying the record reached last year and in 2006. President Obama said that Donald Trump wasn't going to be able to defeat ISIS, but he did. Well, it's a major milestone in the fight against ISIS. Iraq now claiming victory against the terrorist group. You know, this comes after more than three years of combat there, during which Iraqi forces worked to drive out the radical Islamic terrorists from the land they once controlled, and as you know, proclaimed as that so-called caliphate. Well, Iraq's Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi announced this accomplishment. Honorable Iraqis, your land has been completely liberated. Your cities and villages have returned home. The dream of liberation has become a reality. We achieved victory in difficult circumstances, and with God's help, the steadfastness of our people, and the bravery of our heroic forces, we prevailed. A great many people said President Trump should not recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, but he did. And now that's a done deal. Therefore, I have determined that it is time to officially recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. It had been said that it was impossible to renegotiate the NAFTA agreement. President Trump did that too. I'm thrilled to speak to the American people to share truly historic news for our nation and indeed for the world. I want to thank Vice President Pence for joining us this morning. It's my great honor to announce that we have successfully completed negotiations on a brand new deal to terminate and replace NAFTA and the NAFTA trade agreements with an incredible new U.S. 
Mexico Canada Agreement called US MCA. It sort of just works. MCA. They said that President Trump wasn't going to be able to stand up to Russia. But he has. This administration announced a nuclear posture review that has put Russia on notice that we're going to recapitalize our deterrent force in Syria. Now, a handful of weeks ago, the Russians met their match and a couple hundred Russians were killed. The, the list of actions that this administration has taken, I'm, I'm happy to, to walk through each of them, but I don't want to take up much and, more time. And I appreciate the, the list that. Is pretty long, man. And I certainly agree with that, and I think those actions are important. They said President Trump wouldn't be able to get our NATO partners to accelerate their defense spending, but he's been able to do that too. It was a meeting where President Trump and I addressed uh, the topics we will discuss during our summit today. Uh, of course, uh, President Trump has a very direct uh, language uh, and message on uh, defense spending. Uh, but uh, fundamentally, we all agree. Uh, all allies agree that we need fair burden sharing in the alliance. And that's exactly why all allies agreed that those who are spending less than 2% have to spend more. They said President Trump wouldn't be able to cut and reform the tax system. But he has for the first time in over 30 years. So I'll sign this today rather than having a very big formal ceremony in two weeks when we were going to do it, because I didn't want you folks to say that I wasn't keeping my promise. I am keeping my promise. I'm signing it before Christmas. I said that the bill would be on my desk before Christmas, and you are holding me literally to that. So we did a rush job today. It's not fancy, but it's the Oval Office. It's the great Oval Office. So we won't do the whole thing, but this is basically what it is. That's your bill. They said that President Trump would not pull out of the Iran nuclear deal, but he has, and he started new sanctions against Iran, and they are having an effect. Uh, but I can assure you we're not doing anything abruptly. Uh, I can also uh, assure you that the president is very concerned about Iran's continuing behavior uh, on, on both missiles and terrorism, uh, as well as he's very concerned about the term of the JCPOA. So this is something we've been carefully reviewing. Uh, I've had many discussions with my counterparts in Europe. Uh, there are active discussions going on with our counterparts in Europe. Uh, the Secretary of State has also been very involved in these discussions. Uh, I'm not going to comment on specifically what the President's plans are going forward, but it's been very clear. He wants to have a better deal, and he is very concerned about Iran's behavior. And any ability we have to put on sanctions outside the JCPOA, we will continue to do as we've had done over the last year. Time after time, President Trump has confounded and surprised his critics. Over and over, he's done things his critics have said were impossible to do. So I ask you once again, do you believe in miracles?